Okay, let's look at a really quick live example of what this would look like. Again, if you're just joining us, this is for those of you who are uh, building agencies, design studios, and or digital brands where you're selling uh, you know, services to folks in a given niche, market, industry, vertical, or locality, like your local geographical area. So uh, this is an example of our a uh, new mindfulness-based newsletter. Uh, it's built on Substack. You know, I, I, I'm kind of ambivalent at this point about Substack. I'm, you know, I, I like it. I like some things about it. I like the social elements of it, the sort of, you know, content stream uh, that they offer for authors. But, you know, I, I'm also finding it a little bit sort of cumbersome to use and to build a, uh, you know, a, 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 the kind of following that I've been able to build on other platforms like Flowdesk or uh, our course community or Gumroad or any of those sorts of alternatives. So uh, regardless of what I feel, though, Substack is hugely popular. And, you know, there are just tons and tons of folks who have uh, newsletters that look like this on the front page which is, you know, meh, it's okay. It's not great. It's not, it's not terrible, but it can be improved. And this is where you would step in and simply offer a better alternative to someone like myself uh, who's using Substack. And there's a, you know, you, by dint of the social sort of stream element of Substack, you have the availability of reaching out to all those Substackers and offering them this service, right? You can very simply build something like this and reach out directly to the specific people who you know would benefit most. So let's look really quickly. It's a framer template. So, uh, and this is what it would look like, right? So rather than what you just saw, which is my live uh, mindfulness-based Substack, you would offer me or someone like me something like this, which is built on framer. This would be an alternative, right, to this. So, you have this homepage, which looks completely different. You have a larger introduction area or hero area. You have all of these featured essays. You have like a, you know, you have just the ability to customize this for uh, other Substack users in a way that really would elevate, you know, their brand and their business. In other words, if I uh, continue on Substack for sure, I will do something like this for the two or three substacks that I've created over the last month or so. Actually, it's interesting. This, which is mindfulness.substack.com, I actually, <coughs> excuse me, I actually uh, created this, it looks like years ago, like five years ago. I just didn't do anything with it. So when I went actually to register this domain, I was curious if mindfulness was available. It was not. And then I went to look at who who actually had the mindfulness domains? I wanted to actually see if I could get it from them. It was me, which is kind of uh, you know indicative of how much shit we acu we accumulate in the you know digital media space. Um, you know, when we're bouncing from one idea to the next, and we even forget that stuff that we've you know grabbed years ago is our own, right? So, nonetheless. Um, this this particular uh, theme or template has two different landing pages, so you can offer your clients either one of these, right? I mean, this is just one example. I happen to like this example. It's fifty bucks, and actually, I think it's even less now. Uh, so it makes it really, really easy, and it also gives you the opportunity to offer your clients a store, right? So you can see this is again the homepage of the first uh, iteration or example of this template built on Framer. And it has this also has this store separate store page that you can, again, offer your clients as a way of, you know, sort of accentuating their newsletter revenue, uh, you know, uh, metrics. One of the things I've noticed as a complete aside, but it's sort of notable to take on board here is the fact that so many Substack authors who are completely all in, like that these folks are, you know, like they're just so excited to be writing and building a professional audience and making money using the Substack platform, but very few of them actually are making money. Even some of the more popular 
uh, Substack publications that aren't celebrity uh, driven are probably not making nearly as much as they could if they were just selling content on Gumroad or, you know, had a store of their own, et cetera. So what you can do is, and this is what I'm planning on doing, is helping uh, authors, you know, in our orbit actually create products and then building this little marketplace where we can sell everything together. And that's a big part of what I'm trying to accomplish in 2024 are these tiny products, uh, tiny marketplaces featuring lots of different authors in the mental health, uh, you know, community wellness, self-care, you know, uh, meditation and all that sort of space. And I actually registered a couple of domains that are related to Substack and store, right? So we can build something that looks like it's, you know, very niche specific for Substack authors. But you could take this template that I'm showing you here and this page here and do the same thing. Just create like a little mini authority site of products for your clients that you've, you know, that you've built one of these landing pages for, or you could do this for each client individually, or you could do both. So you could have examples of, you know, this could be, you know, a marketplace of your clients and their products, or it could be one specific client and their products, or you could do both. You could have one of these that was a marketplace for all of your clients and each one of them individually had their own little, you know, product store. And then if you go to all essays, you can click that, that, and it redirects to the, you know, the, the uh, main, um, you know, uh, page for this particular uh, framer designer. So he has a Substack called whatever that was called atomic learnings or something. Um, Anyway, it's that simple. I mean, you could do this on card for button down uh, and tools like that. You can't do it on card for Substack simply because they don't have that integration built in quite as nicely. Actually, let me let me let me double back and correct myself. You can do this on card for Substack. I know people have asked about that because I have a lot of folks, obviously, uh, you know, in our uh, agency uh, audience who are using card. Um, it's just not quite as elegant. Substack doesn't have a direct integration with Card, whereas MailChimp, ConvertKit, ButtonDown, and similar style services have a API integration with Card that makes plugging in your, you know, your client's uh, newsletter uh, form like literally takes 14 seconds and you're done. Whereas with Substack they build a little bit more of a moat around their product and it makes it a little bit more difficult to integrate with something like card right out of the box. Anyway, that's probably unnecessary uh, info that I don't, don't need to like sort of go into the weeds with. But if you are building a uh, agency and you're using Framer and you're looking for a sort of, you know, like goldfish in a barrel style niche, you know, this is it, right? You just go to Substack and find all the folks, much like myself, who are, you know, using their platform and who probably would benefit from having something a little bit nicer on the front end than what Substack gives you out of the box. And by the way, this actually looks pretty good for, you know, for from my perspective anyway, like the general Substack designs are, you know, they're they're a little bit even more vanilla than this. So I actually fell in love with this template. As soon as I saw it, I reached out to the dude who made it. Uh, we had some conversations. I ended up not uh, buying it. I was actually gonna, going to use this as part of a, a mini course that I was doing in, I think, May. Uh, but I went a different route. But if I really kind of, you know, sort of spent some time nurturing my own Substack, which I kind of would like to, I'm just not sure it's the best platform for me. Um, I would no doubt use something like this for myself. And if I was really looking for clients in that particular uh, niche and I want to do design work, which I'm really trying not to do because I'm really trying to focus on my writing this year, um, this is no doubt, you know, a simple way of going from zero to, you know, whatever the dollar number is that you need to make on a monthly basis, selling framer based uh, services. 
teach what you know, do what you love, wake up the world with your work. As always, I appreciate you watching. If you have questions, feel free to ask. And if you're interested in checking out some of uh, my writing on mindfulness and things like that, you can actually check that out here, mindfulness.substack.com. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful day. And I'll be recording a couple other things in a few minutes. Thanks.